Does your back hurt while carrying drums? Let's talk about how to fix that. There's an exercise you need to learn called the hip hinge. It literally trains the muscles you need to hold your equipment on a harness. You need a PVC pipe, broomstick, something of this nature, and you're going to hold it behind you with your hand sitting in the curve of your lower back. From here, the pole contacts the body in three spots, right above the tailbone, between the shoulder blades and the back of the head. So check it, this is not it, this is not it, and this eh, is not it. Right. Now once you've got those three points, begin by setting your feet shoulder width apart, then push your hips back, like you're trying to close the door back there, pah, while keeping your spine aligned. Then return to the standing position maintaining those three points of contact. Now let's talk about common mistakes. Start down at the feet here. If your toes are coming up, you're pushing your hips too far back. You can't balance. If your heels are coming up like this, that means you're just leaning forward but not pushing your hips back. Your goal is to find balance. Just like that, take a look at my feet. Nothing changes because I'm balanced. The next mistake comes from losing contact in one of these points. Usually it's the head, like that, but sometimes it's the low back, which looks like this. Sometimes it's the mid back. Ugh. <laughs> you get the point. So the challenge is maintaining all three points of contact while hinging on the hip joint. If you can do this 12 times without losing contact with the stick, you're ready for level two, and that will come in a separate video.